Here are our top five stories of the week. Number five. Plagazzi announces partnership with Petrofac for development of Coping Hydrogen Park, Sweden. Petrofac and Plagazzi partner for the development of Coping Hydrogen Park, with Petrofac leading the early work stage in collaboration with Plagazzi's engineering team. Petrofac, a global energy industry provider, will assist Plagazzi in defining the plant design and battery limits during the project's feed development phase. The partnership brings together Petrofac's expertise in project engineering and Plagazzi's vision for hydrogen projects, deepening their relationship and potential for future collaborations. Number 4. Nike launches first hydrogen-powered inland container ship. Nike launches world's first hydrogen-powered inland container ship, H2 Barge 1, reducing 2,000 tons of CO2 emissions annually. The zero-carbon dioxide emissions vessel will transport Nike products in Europe between Rotterdam and the European Logistics Campus in Belgium. Nike's sustainability efforts also include hydrogen trucks, electric vans, reduced air freight, and lighter shipping cartons to minimize carbon emissions. Number 3. World Premier at Global Public Transport Summit 2023, Mercedes-Benz Isataro Fuel Cell, Greater Range Thanks to Fuel Cell. Daimler Buses showcases Mercedes-Benz Isataro Fuel Cell at Global Public Transport Summit 2023. Range, 350 km, capacity, 128 passengers, ideal for replacing combustion engine city buses. The Isataro Fuel Cell combines battery electric drive with a 60 kW fuel cell, optimizing power usage for efficient operation and extended range. The Isataro fuel cell has successfully passed extensive tests, including for hydrogen tanks, thermal management, and components. Series production starts in June. Number 2. Running a hydrogen plane could be cheaper than traditional aircraft by 2035. Hydrogen planes could be cheaper than fossil fuel planes by 2035 with adequate taxation and carbon pricing, making them a cost-competitive technology for decarbonizing the aviation sector. Airbus may face challenges in meeting its planned 2035 launch date for hydrogen planes due to slow development of the hydrogen ecosystem and doubts about the demand for zero-emission aircraft. The cost of deploying hydrogen planes in Europe by 2050 is 299 billion euros, mainly for green hydrogen production, infrastructure, and fuel distribution. Number 1. Plug lands three electrolyzer deals for European green hydrogen projects in hard-to-decarbonize industries. Plug Power secures three 5 MW electrolyzer projects for green hydrogen use in glass manufacturing, aluminum recycling, and steel manufacturing, reducing carbon emissions and construction costs. Arda Glass Limmered AB in Sweden will produce 2.1 TPD of green hydrogen using Plug's electrolyzer, replacing natural gas in glass production. Hydro have Rand in Norway and Apex Group in Germany will employ Plug's electrolyzers to decarbonize aluminum recycling and steel manufacturing, contributing to the EU's goal of 10 million metric tons of green hydrogen production by 2030. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video please hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. We invite you to like, comment, and share with others who may enjoy our content.